It's time to feed the animals. These are the only animals we got. So, feeding is easy. Here you go, Brutus. Hey, Lily. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. We feed him separately like this because he will eat up everything and she won't hardly get anything. So we want to make sure that she gets her share because he's a pig. And then sometimes it's the other way around and she'll eat up everything before he has a chance. So it's just easier this way. Let him go ahead and eat. And then once she's done, we'll let her out of the cage and, uh, They'll be following me around for the rest of the day. What about the worms? Worms are animals too. Oh yeah, you're right. Worms seem to be doing very well. If you can let me zoom in on that. Soil is moist. They are eating like crazy. Lots of live activity. We don't need to feed them today because we fed them a couple of days ago and there's still plenty of food. So we're just going to put things back and call it done. The worms are checked on. So now we have fed, or at least checked on, all the animals. Good morning, it's Uncle G from Audacity Dawning. Um, it's gonna be a busy day on the farm today. I'm just trying to get my head uh, in the right space. This is just coffee, nothing other than some honey and cinnamon in it. A um, Couple big projects going on this morning. Before I get started on it, I just wanted to sit down and reflect a little bit. I was just thinking, I can't believe how much I enjoy living out here in the country. Um, it's not way remote, so we still have access to um, the amenities in town. There's a Walmart probably about 15 minutes away. But when I get up in the morning, there's no traffic on the road. There's no sirens going off. Only thing I hear are cows and chickens. I love it. I wish I would have did this several years ago. Um, there was a time in my life where this would have been perfect uh, had I known that this lifestyle was like this. I just had no idea. I never lived in anything like this before. Um, it's always a lot to do. Every time I look around, there's some new project that gets added to the list. And right now it's preparing for spring planting. And so nothing is urgent. We don't have animals on the farm yet, other than our two puppies. Um, and they're pretty easy to take care of. But we've got to get started, getting ready for whatever we're going to do. Um, so, that being said, we know we want to do a garden. And we're going to make some raised beds to grow items for the household. And then we will look into using one of the pastures for growing other things. I think we, for this year, uh, we just want to start off growing for ourselves, not worrying about growing extra, uh, just to see what works, what doesn't work, grow the food that we like, learn how to preserve it. Uh, we've been doing a lot of uh, 
canning and dehydrating, pickling, just storing stuff away in general, um, getting our pantry built up. And that's been going very well. Um, we're going to continue to do that as we have time, but I'm to the point now where we've got a good three months supply uh, put away. And now it's a matter of building the longer term pantry of items just in case it's ever needed in the future. Um, another thing that's getting ready to get started is um, the Missouri Master Gardener class uh, officially be has begun. So I need to go online. That The class is completely online. Um, so I need to go on and look at what's there as far as assignments and work to be done and learn more about gardening and uh, how to be successful at growing. Um, today's project is going to be putting together a system to start our seedlings. Uh, we don't have a greenhouse yet. Uh, I don't see it happening before the spring uh, comes. And so I'm going to go ahead and build a grow light system and, and, and build a rack in the basement so that we can start the seedlings off for this spring's planting. And that's the main thing I want to get done today. Uh, if we have time, we will do other things. But that if I can get that to, done today, that will be, I would consider myself having a good day. I'm hoping to get more done. I can't wait till it's warm enough because even though it's not freezing, freezing cold, it's still cold in the morning. I want to go outside and drink my coffee and just look, but I'm a bit of a wimp when it comes to the cold. I don't like it. Don't want nothing to do with it. I only go out there if I have to. So that's why I'm drinking inside the house now, but I can't wait till the weather is good enough that I can go out there and just set up camp and drink my coffee and listen to the nature outside. Um, another two months, I believe, around mid-March. It's mid-January now. We got two more months to continue getting things together. I got a lot of stuff coming in the mail that things that I need to get started. I've got a lot of other stuff that I need to go pick up. Uh, but slowly but surely, we're going to get there. Um, if I had to, I could get started today and I think I'd be all right. I think that's it for right now. Let's get started with the bill. So here's what we're doing right now as a project. Um, we're gonna build this shelving system. We've got some T8 grow lights from Baria, and we've got a dual outlet timer uh, to put the lights on to simulate daylight, nighttime uh, situations. I'm just going to set this up and get started building it and hopefully figure out how to do it fast so that you don't have to spend hours watching me struggle with this. Oh, and as a disclaimer, nothing that I am using is said to me. I'm not endorsing any products. This is just what I chose. I'm not getting paid to do anything. I've only been doing this for less than a month, uh, two weeks actually. Um, so I'm not endorsed by anybody for anything. So these are just things that I've picked up along the way, watching other YouTube videos. I'm not an originator of any of these ideas. Most of them are, you know, as I'm watching what other people are doing, I'm just following suit. So I'm not claiming to be the originator of anything. I'm not being paid for anything. And 
just wanted to make sure everyone knew that. Um, as always, if you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, share on your other social media platforms, and become a subscriber. We could use uh, the build up. We are not even at 10 subscribers yet. So help us out.
And that, my friends, is our row access situation in the basement. Hopefully it works the way I intend. Thanks for watching. Okay, so the next project is to get these leaves up out of the carport and get them into the uh, compost pile. We have some food scraps that need to go out there anyway, so might as well get these things up and get them out there. one now it's just time to fill it up we've got a bunch of old limbs in a pile over there that we pulled down earlier this year earlier last year late last year we're just going to fill up the bottom with limbs and twigs and stuff first and then uh, we'll put the soil in compost and that kind of stuff on after we fill up most of it with the tree limbs if I'm fortunate, I will find a pair of headphones that I locked out in this area somewhere a week or so ago. I'd like to, I'd like to get them back. But in the meantime, go ahead and get this cut up. I'm just going to use the sawzall. I have a chainsaw with me just in case. Okay, so got a few projects done today. I'm going to do one last thing. <clears throat> I have no idea since we moved into this place um, how much ammo that I currently have. Uh, with the shortage, every time I go out to look for something, I can't find any. Um, or if I do find it, it's so expensive that I can't seem to pull myself to uh, to to do it i don't need that much i'm not scared but i'm just prepared um about three years ago we got our concealed carry um and so i've got boxes of ammo sitting around in various places i just don't have a good idea how much i have we haven't been shooting off anything lately because we just don't know how much we have and because of the shortage, we want to make sure that we don't run out. So that'll be my next project is to continue on with the inventory so that I know exactly how much I have and where it's all located. Well, it's been a long day. Um, due to some technical difficulties, 
Uh, mainly me being a rookie at this. I missed some of the footage, which is fine. Um, we spent about eight hours together today. Thank goodness for fast motion. Um, a couple of the projects that you missed was we had 25 pounds of sugar that we vacuum sealed and put away for the long-term storage. That whole segment got missed. Due to me thinking that it was recording when it was actually stopped. Oh well, better luck next time. I'll figure this out as I go along. I'm still a rookie. It'll get better, hopefully, sooner than later. Um, the other thing you missed out on um, was we had a short discussion on lifelong learning. I'm a big believer in it, and one of the things that I'm doing is uh, taking a class in the evenings, uh, Master Gardener class the state of Missouri puts on. Um, I had a whole spiel about that that got lost in the ether. Um, but... I did do my studying and now it's time to relax and go find a cold one somewhere to drink down. Get ready for tomorrow and uh, hopefully it'll be as productive as today was. Thanks for hanging out with me. Aloha.